Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Um, I just came up on here, you guys, um, to actually just, this is a warning. Um, I've been doing this for years, so it's not just about Kobe Bryant or Prince or Michael Jackson or Whitney Houston. I, I can keep naming names. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I have a dust set the Lord. God is, first of all, let's talk about something that's that, that's real. When I was in Hollywood, California, and uh, what I mean by that is when I was in the Los Angeles area, and I had a chance to actually cater with Stevie Wonder and be around very important people, um, the industry, we're going to just call it like that. This is real. Every contract, this is real. I don't care whether you believe it or not. And I really want to hit y'all hard because Christians think it's not. You guys, let me tell you something. And, and I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. I don't care what anybody says. You can come with your crazy comments, your crazy feelings, whatever the case may be. When God speaks, that's a wrap in the story. You guys, and, and, and I'm going to walk this thing out. Everybody don't, doesn't say anything until one of them dies. And listen to what I'm saying. As long as Kobe Bryant, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, everybody, as long as they're performing, everybody's like, yeah, that's my favorite performer. I love them. Yes, yes, yes. We don't say anything to them when they're at their height of their career because we love the entertainment. We love what they're doing. But has anyone even in their height of their career, have anyone whispered to, their, to them in their ear, did you sell your soul? Is it worth what you're going to experience in the latter? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God is not pleased, especially, and I know this for a fact, all these pastors that's in L.A. area and, and all over the world, some of us are doing that. We're warning the people. But most of you are not. Most of you pastors in the L.A. area, how is it that y'all have some of the most powerful people, you know, in the L.A. area, and yet... These these men and women are dying the way they're dying. Oh, I'm going, I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God will require the blood of them at your hands because you didn't say anything, especially most famous people. They are famous pastors. And the pastors don't say anything because y'all like that tithing money. Y'all like the money. I'm saying something. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So God was telling me, he said, Deanna warned them, but I have some hard things to say this morning. And I'm going to say what God says to say, even in the Christo arena, e e even in the world. Let me tell you something. And, I, and when I learned this, it took, it took me by surprise, but yet not really. Every day, you can't get a six figure job without these people. I'm going to walk this thing out. I'm going to walk this thing out. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to walk this thing out. So this is what thus said the Lord. This is the, just a, a little picture of the devil. This is not how he really looks. But notice the skull, which everybody is wearing the skull, which you're calling death. You're calling everything's a spirit. I've told y'all that before, but y'all acting like, oh, we live in this world, whatever. I don't want to hear none of that foolishness. Everything's a spirit. Either you're working with the kingdom of God or you're working with the kingdom of the devil. End of story. Point blank in the story. So, excuse me. Let me tell you why. Excuse me, you guys, I was drinking some Theraflu. Um, still under the weather. Let me tell you why these people serve Satan. And this is what does say the Lord. And he showed me this one even when I was down there. Notice it says Los Angeles. They call it the city of the lost angels. Y'all they call it the city of angels. Do y'all understand what's happening here? Los Angeles is one of the demonic portals of this world, meaning that that's one of their bases. All demons. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. New York and Los Angeles. Notice at the end of one side of the um, United States to the other side. And Paris, France. Um, all uh, Y'all don't understand this whole world is governed by the elite. Now, here's why the um, people in Hollywood make deals. They've seen the devil, God says. Y'all don't hear me. Now, I'm not talking about this picture. Um, I wish I had a picture up. Have anybody ever saw the Predator? Y'all remember the Predator when he took off that mask, how ugly he was? What if I tell you the devil is uglier than that? I have seen some things that I can't explain, and I'm not kidding. 
I'm not clear. I could tell you some things that will blow y'all mind. And that's why, you know, God is having me do more videos like this. So anyway, the devil have showed himself to these people. So they're scared. That's what God told me. And I've been knowing that part. God says the reason why people in Hollywood or even people in high places, they worship him because they're scared of him. Most people haven't seen God. They've seen the spirit of God. But they've seen this devil. This devil has manifested. So he actually intimidates them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So hold on. Let me finish. I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. I don't want to get to the scriptures till last. So hold on. I got some pictures to show y'all. God made me. Okay. So a lot of them. And I, I was included. And some of you, if you really tell the truth on here. We all wanted to be successful. You know, we were groomed for it. You go to school from first grade to 12th grade. After that, you go to this famous college or uh, Ivy League, whatever the case may be. Whatever it is, but be your best. Do your best. That's what they told us. They lied to us. Because the ultimate goal is they want you to have fame, fortune, riches, but, but sign here. Oh, come on, somebody. Everything's a contract. But we didn't even understand what contracts are. So I'm going to break this thing down. A contract is a covenant. I'm going to say it again. A contract is a covenant. So every time you sign a contract, you are signing a covenant with somebody. I just said something. Y'all not going to like me this morning because I'm, I'm going to pull this thing back. Yesterday, I was sad and I was sitting on the bed and God said, why are you sad? He made a deal. Y'all ain't ready for me. It's going to sound cold this morning. It's going to sound cold. You guys, I was sad when Prince died. I was sad when Michael Jackson died. I was sad when Whitney Houston died. Because what y'all don't know, before I had my neck surgery, they would call me Lil Whitney. I can go up a scale and come back down like it was nobody business. Oh, come on, somebody. I got people that was there. Um, so... I've always loved Whitney. I want to meet her one day. But when all this stuff happened and she died, and I, and I want y'all to notice something too. Notice they always tragically die before the Grammys. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. That's a sacrificial lamb. Y'all ain't ready. They do that because Satan requires it. He requires a death. Y'all don't notice almost every big Grammys, somebody dies and, and it's crazy. Y'all not ready for me. Y'all not ready for me. And even people was talking about somebody um, prophesied. They didn't prophesy that man dying. Talk. I, I saw the Twitter tweet. It says LeBron, I mean, um, Kobe probably would die in a plane, in a helicopter crash. No, it's called programming. They probably, they already knew. Let me tell y'all something about the elite. The elite plan stuff 20, 30, 40 years in, in advance. Y'all ain't ready for me. They plan stuff 20, 30, 40 years in advance. They, first of all, the Illuminati was started by Cain's cousin. Do y'all understand who Cain is? We're talking about Abel, um, Abel and Cain, the first family. Yes, that's how much they hate Jesus Christ. I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So the whole thing is to taint us. You know, we live in this world and some people still haven't figured it out. There's a battle between Satan and God. And Satan, he tries to trick people the same way he did Jesus. He said, if you fall down and worship me, I'll give you this. He didn't say it like this. He said the glory of the worlds. But it's the same thing. Fame, fortune, riches. And notice, sign. Because there must be an agreement. Come on, somebody. There's power in agreement. Because power of agreement is covenant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me walk this thing. The people that run this world, they are in allegiance to Satan. That's why they do what they do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, when God started showing me all this stuff, I was in California. And I'm telling you, I almost did it, you guys. So I, don't, I have to be transparent with you guys. I wasn't where I'm at. I almost did it. I almost sold my soul. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I almost, you know, I did some things. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. It's called the brotherhood and the sisterhood. I'm telling you what they do. They have these parties called that Pandora box. And what they do is, in these parties, you wear masks. So you're not supposed to know each other, but of course, come on, you look at TV, all the stars, they know each other, okay? So, anywho, they invite you to these parties. And what you're supposed to do at the parties is you have sex with the same sex. And they actually, they go into rooms, but what they don't understand is that it's being recorded. So now they have them having sex with the same sex recorded. So they use that as black man, blackmail. I'm going to go ahead and leak this and you won't be who you are. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as a matter of fact, 
every store, their house. I promise you they got cameras in their house. They mess with their mind. Y'all ain't ready for me. They mess with their mind. They watch everything. They spin. They watch everything. These people are being watched. These people, these people are being tormented. They are being tormented. But the thing is, though, it feels so good. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out this morning. It feels so good. You want to know why it feels good? Because we got everything we need that belongs in this world. We got money. We got a big house. We got a big car. We got all these credit cards. We can dictate what we want. We can go where we want. We can eat what we want. It, it feels good huh? Seems good, huh? Until at that back end, at that back end, it's, it's called pay the piper. You don't notice what they do? They, they It's almost like fattening the lamb for the kill. I'm telling you what God said, y'all. And these leaders, they're in bed with Satan. Some of them actually are bloodline Satan, the Illuminati. I'm not kidding. Like the first families, they have a bloodline, the 13 bloodlines. Uh, Y'all Google that. If you're really interested in knowing what's really, who runs this world, it's called the 13 bloodlines families. There's 13. Notice, notice I say 13. Notice Kobe daughter was 13. Y'all going to get it in a minute. The Illuminati, I don't care what y'all say, they deal with numbers. Because God has a book in the Bible called Numbers. Everything is numbers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Masonic, masonry. So all these leaders of the world, they sacrifice people over and over and over again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Do y'all understand what's happening? They're sacrificing people. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give you that contract. We'll give you that deal. And, and we'll run you like a horse. I'm talking about they'll make you famous. And then all of a sudden, they fatten you for the kill. After, after they use you all up. I'm telling you what they do. And y'all seen it. After they use them up, I don't care what their gift is, basketball, singing, um, whatever the case may be. Then after that, if they find somebody else with the same gift, like, y'all not going to like me, but I'm going here. Michael Jackson. Y'all know who they sac sacrificed Michael Jackson for, right? I don't even like saying her name. Beyonce. Who uh, How you know they always find somebody in the same field and all of a sudden, they rise up. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. And what y'all don't understand is whoever is sacrificed, the person that's going to take their position has something to do with it. I just said something. LeBron James had just out uh, passed his scoring thing, right? Kobe, the night before, right? Now, if y'all think all this is a coincidence, <laughs> you are highly mistaken. You are highly mistaken. These people are cold and calculated. You don't trust no enemy. You don't trust no devil. So this is a warning to everybody that wants to be rich. Oh, come on, somebody. You want to be famous. You want to be the man. You want to be the woman. Is it worth your soul? Is it worth for possibly your family members getting killed? Because Satan is the God of this world and you can't move without him. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to say that thing again. You can't move without Satan. You can't. You can't move without him. You can't have a six-figure job without him. I don't care what y'all say. Because most of y'all be lying on God, talking about God bless me. God says in the Bible that even Satan knows how to give gifts. Google the scripture yourselves. Come on, somebody. It's time for y'all to understand what time it is out here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So... Not only that, the God of this world is riches, pleasure, and pride. That's where the arrogance come from. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's right. It's not a circle of life, but a circle of death. And, and they, think it's, they think it's cool because guess what? They have everything they so say need. They are the rulers of the darkness of this world. These people, they would, they kill their own, so they don't care about us. I'm sorry. And I'm not just talking about a race of people because, let me tell you something. Just like that news lady, she said, uh, the Los Angeles, you know, I'm not going to say it on here. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all think that was a mistake, that's not, that wasn't a mistake. They doing everything because they want a race war. So let me tell you what happened here. They knew that if they did this at this point in time, number one, it'd be sacrificial um, lamb. That's what they call a sacrificial lamb. They try to recreate the blood of Jesus dying on the cross. They do. So there must be a shed of blood. So what they do is they do it before the Grammys. Then all of a sudden, they always deal with numbers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to tell you something. I want you to count the cost. Just be mindful of what 
you want in life, the choices you make, because after you do it, you have to pay the piper. People say, well, um, they can come back from that. Can they? They, they signed a whole contract. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let, let me let me go some more with this thing. Hold on. This is the contract. Every contract is a covenant. And sometimes they make them sign in blood. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know it's true. Hallelujah. So let's read Ephesians, what it says. It says, Ephesians chapter 6 says, Oh, I didn't mess it up, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Coming back. Okay, Ephesians chapter 6 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. That's why they're trying to get the kids, y'all. Y'all don't understand with the video games. Everything everything is by spirit. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That it may be well with thee, and thou may live as a lone life on earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them in the nature and automation of the Lord. Eight, I mean five. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but I want to get to, let's see. And you masters, okay, this is the one I want to get to. 12, Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Let me tell y'all something. These people are demonic entities. Do you understand what I said? They are demonic entities. I've seen them in the spirit. I'm going here this morning. You guys, it was in California. i never forget. In, 20, in 2012, God woke me up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going here. And I'm going to be red flagged again after I say this, but that's fine with me. And I never forget what God said. God said, are you ready, Deanna? I said, for what, God? He said, to speak my word like never before. You're going to have to shed some light. And people are not going to like you. And it's going to sound like you're crazy. You're going to look crazy. He said, but this is what I need you to do because I need you to tell people. So long story short, God said, the man that you know, and I'm going here for, for all you that don't understand, I don't care. Come for me. This is what I do. He was talking about the 44th president. I don't even like to say his name because his name means Lord. He said, he's not a man. I said, God, what do you mean he's not a man? He said, I'm going to let you see. I saw that man in the White House with that other man that y'all say is a woman. Yeah, I'm saying it. Y'all can get mad if you want. And they were doing things. And then he said, let me show you who he really is. That man turned into a whole beast. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. His, his, as a matter of fact, his limousine was named the Beast. Go ahead and look all this up. I challenge every last one of you. I challenge you to ask God if I'm lying. Yeah, I challenge every last one of you. Those that will listen to, I challenge you to ask God to show you. But don't be scared now when he show you who he really is. That man is not a man. Y'all ain't ready for me. And so that's the journey. Now, you got to understand, I had the little plates. I said, but he's the first black president. I, I mean, I'm sitting up there telling God, I mean... And when God showed me, I said, Lord, do you understand? He said, yes. He said, now, do you know what I'm asking you to do? And he made me say yes three times. He said, and don't be afraid. And you guys, I heard, so I, I started putting the information out there, even about the Illuminati. People thought I was crazy. Now, haha, <laughs> y'all know it's true. Hallelujah. So anywho, I heard the order. Oh, I'm going here this morning. The prophetic is deep. And the prophetic is not, it doesn't belong to man, by the way. It's God. It's God's word. It's God whispering in your ear what thus said the Lord. He says, Deanna, you're going to be flagged after this. And I thought, I ain't going to lie. I didn't know. I didn't know, y'all. I didn't know. So let me walk this thing out. So long story short, what ended up happening is I started putting it out there. I heard the order when he said, and I'm not going to say the full word of it. He said, watch that be. And I've been watched since. My phone, my, my comings and my goings. Oh, trust me. People close to me know what's going on. They thought I was crazy. Oh, come on, somebody. Even my dad. We were staying in Atlanta. And I, and I told dad, I said, dad, you have to watch yourself. People coming in and out this house. Dad was like, good. The Bible got you going crazy. Until one magical day, dad got up. He said, I'm just going here, y'all. He said, a white man was in my room. I said, oh, 
So so now you understand it's real. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. So I already know they watch me. They listen to me. And my thing is this, and I'm going here this morning. I ain't doing nothing illegal. Why they on my trail? I ain't doing no criminal activity. Why they on my trail? Y'all know why? Because she see, she know, she hear. Hallelujah. And I ain't scared. Hallelujah to his name. That's why I'm doing this live. I'm trying to warn y'all. Y'all better stop sleeping with the devil because he's coming back for payment. Hallelujah to his name. Trust God. Trust God. Stop being greedy for money. Because it's going to cost you and your family. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, you think they're just after you? Once you make agreement with these devils, it is a covenant and they have a right to touch anything or everything you love, even your life. Because now you have made an agreement with them. So when I started teaching about it, two, three things I've gotten paused in before. Oh, trust me. People know this. I'm not just saying this. People in California could tell you this. One day I went to Big Lots and I left my water in the car. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was disobedient. God said, throw that water away. But I started drinking it. By the time I got home, it felt like I was in cardiac arrest. They had to take me to the hospital. The doctor, he knew something was wrong, but he could not find it. He said, he said I don't know what's wrong. And that's when God told me, he said, get up from out this hospital because they would not be able to help you. He, he said, go home. And I let my uh, mama bearers pray over me. And I came back. They tried to kill me. And I never forget, I got a phone call from somebody. All I saw was the thing said, Phoenix out of Arizona. And there was a Caucasian man. And this is what he said. He said, you surely are anointed. And he hung up the phone. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. So with that being said, I know my fate. I, this is what they do. They don't like people that know and see in the spirit. That's why they hate the prophetic. That's why they try, try to make us seem like we're crazy, especially Christians. Hallelujah. So all this is a ploy because they need to take the focus off of Trump. They need to take the focus off of everything else. So not everybody talking about COVID, Brian, right? Y'all understand? Everything is systematic and calculated. They're not playing. They know exactly what they're doing. Hallelujah. And, and the crazy part is, I hope people are waking up to what they're doing. Quit wanting the things of this world. It's going to cost you more than you want to pay, said the Lord. Hallelujah. So let me continue this. So um, I've had several th more things happen to me. I'm not afraid. God told me, here's the deal. He said, Deanna, they can't kill you till, till, I, till you finish your assignment. So until then... I'm going to go through what I got to go through. I ain't scared. It is what it is. They know. Oh, trust me. They know. They know very well who I am. Hallelujah. And I know who they are. Come on, somebody. So let me finish this. Number 11. We're going to start number 11. No, we're going to start 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Number 11, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. You can't do this without God. Most of you are trying to do it without God in your own strength. You'll weigh yourself out. The demons real. You can't fight them demons without the power and the presence of God. I just said something. Without the power and the presence. I don't care how much word you got. If you got a doctor, you got a mega church. Without the power and the presence, you cannot defeat Satan. Because we need God to intervene. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And you got these people in Hollywood, they don't know that. They don't know that God could save them. Because, like I told you, Satan has showed them his face, his real face, y'all. And they scared. Hallelujah. 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual. That's it. That's the key right there. I want y'all to see against spiritual wickedness in high places. What's the high places? I'm going here. Government, law enforcement, the presidents, and y'all sitting up there running behind Trump. Man, y'all, you know what y'all need to do? Get closer to God and let God be God. Because what's going to happen is going to happen. This world's coming to an end. No, I like y'all don't know that. Some of y'all scared. You better get closer to God if you're scared. Hallelujah. And I will say, if you're scared, go to church. But then you got to watch the, the church to go to. Because they might be in bed. Oh, I'm, I don't know why. He got me going. He got me going here, y'all. I told y'all years ago. Most of these mega pastors, they sleep with men. They wife know it. And what to their wife? They cover it up for them. Well, as long as the money coming in and, and people don't know, that's what happened. Oh, Lord, I'm sorry, y'all. He got me going. That's what happened to Bishop Eddie Long. You think that's what happened to R. Kelly? Y'all think they don't know what they do? 
I'm going to say it again. We are all under surveillance. I hate to, I hate to bust your bubble. D- them TVs, we're all under surveillance. These cell phones, we are all under surveillance. Hallelujah. So they know what these people are doing. But they wait for a certain time to pull the rug from under them. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for me. I'm going to say it again. Again, spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. He says it again. Now, he just said it right here, but he says it again. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your lines gripped about with truth. That's what people don't want to hear, truth. And having a place of blessed place of righteousness. You guys, I'm going to show you all these clips again that God made me pick out this morning. Because y'all need to see this for real. It's really real. Remember to pray for everybody that is in a high position or making six figures or you, you got it going on. Because they didn't see the devil. And trust me, they, they know what time it is. I, I, I'm going to go here. LeBron James knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. He know what happened. Trust me. Because he's down with him. Yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying. Y'all can get mad if you want to. He down with him. He know. And and that's sad. They're just like um. I'm going here. Y'all gonna y'all not gonna like me, but it's okay. Steve Harvey, Bernie Mac. Let me tell you something. When I was in Hollywood, I found out something. It's just like it's just like a little. It's just like us, y'all. Everybody gossip. Everybody talk. Bernie had went to um to a clone center, and they took him there, right? And Bernie, Bernie wasn't having it. Bernie's like, man, we gotta tell the people, man, we we, we gotta we gotta do this. And Steve start tripping. Steve called them people and said, Bernie tripping. Next thing you know, Bernie is sick. Next thing you know, Bernie is dead. Next thing you know, um, Steve Harvey is in the spotlight. Y'all ain't ready for me. <laughs> Get mad if you want to. The truth just went forth. I still got connections in Hollywood. They tell me stuff. I know stuff. And then I'm going to God and get confirmation. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to sell your soul. If you want to be anything in this world, even gospel artists, y'all sitting up there playing that game. I'm going here. We know what you didn't did because your music ain't anointed. You ain't anointed. Yeah, I'm going here this morning. I don't care if you don't like me. God bless you. I love you. Y'all selling y'all soul, man, for some money. Wait a minute. To be famous because you want everybody to worship you instead of God. Yeah, I said how I said it. For fame, fortune, and riches. So so you cannot like you the big man, the big woman, the young girl, the young boy that got it going on. And can I tell y'all something? When I was in um LA, I did. And I tell you I had so much money. But can I tell you something? Everybody around me was fake. Because guess what? They were just enjoying it and talking about me behind my back. I knew it. I'm telling y'all the truth. That's what people do. You brought them, you invite them in because we want to be, want to be worshipped. Yeah, I'm saying it like that. So you want people to see your house and your car. And that's the same people that'll kill you for your stuff. That's the same people that'll set you up. That's the same people that are, are sneaking and record something that they ain't got no business recording. Yeah, I say how I say it. Y'all ain't going to like me. Y'all ain't going to like me. I thank God he saved me from Hollywood. You know, from a little girl, I told people, and, and everybody know that I'm from a little town called Abbeville, Louisiana, very poverty stricken. I said, I'm going to Hollywood one day. I made it, y'all. But when I got there, my heart was broken. I said, wait a minute. And, I, and I'm going to tell this story again. They set me up with a well-known star. I'm not lying. Me and her became friends. And I was so elated because I made it. I, I, I was going to make it. I, I was going to be somebody. And when that woman invited me and told me, okay, Deanna, you ready? I said, ready for what? You know, but she said, and I'm going all the way. And I'm not lying. Ask God. He said, she said, I want you to take your tailbone and I want you to, to um, concentrate and put it in the ground. I said, what? Connect with Satan. I, I ain't going to lie. I acted like a little girl. I said, I don't want to be your friend. And I ran out. That scared me. I'm not going to lie. That scared me. I said, God. And that's when I had that dream. God gave me that dream. You want to be rich? You want it, Deanna? You know what you're going to have to do. And I repented after he gave me that dream. I said, God, I don't, want to, I don't want to sell my soul. Not for no money. Not for this. And I remember I lost everything. Moved back to Sacramento because I was so embarrassed. Because when you lose everything, you lose the friends. You know how I'm saying that. You lose everything. But can I tell you something? When that happened, that's when I really begin to see God, feel God, know God, hear God, even more so. Because I chose God. 
Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there playing games. These people are real. These rulers. And, and, and they've been watching us. So they know what you like, how you like it. The demons been watching you. What am I saying? The rulers of this world work with the demons. And there you have it. So y'all sitting up there talking about, oh, we living in a world. What world are you living in? Come on. Let, let's talk. What world are you living in? Because either you serve you serve Satan or you're serving the devil. And some of y'all are trying to serve both. And God said that would not be. He's going to expose you this year. As a matter of fact, I've been telling y'all, 2020, you ain't got to do nothing. People going to expose themselves. And the devil going to expose himself too. Hallelujah. Because God ain't having it. And I'm t I told y'all this. I told y'all pastors was going to end up dropping dead in the pulpit. Did it happen this weekend? And I'm not trying to bash nobody or hurt the family. Y'all, this stuff is real. People going to stop dropping dead on lives. God ain't having it. God says he's tired. People going to stop dropping dead everywhere for playing with the people of God. We in that time. And God is not playing, he said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, they trying to choke me. I can't even hardly talk no more. The devil is alive. I rebuke you in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. So, you know, and I'm still under the weather, y'all. So I'm, I got I to gotta go, but... I'm telling y'all, count the calls. Please count the calls. This is a warning. This is one not just for stars, for everybody. You mean to tell me you want it that bad that you're willing to sacrifice yourself and your and your children or your family? So and 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 trust me, they all have to do it. Kanye West, y'all think it's funny his mom dad died. Jennifer Hudson, you think his family her, 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 and once they do it, they don't even know it's getting done. They hire other people to kill them. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. So I pray that y'all share this. I don't say that much. Share this, tag this, warn the people. Repent, said the Lord. Repent, said the Lord. Repent, said the Lord. Hallelujah. These people are not playing, you guys. And whatever you know or whatever you've been told, that's a lie. Because Satan is the God of this world. God didn't make drugs. God didn't make pornos. Everybody say God made everything. That's a lie. God, whatever God made in them seven days, he said it is good. Everything else, Satan did it. Hallelujah. 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 So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll like soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.